Hello and good day. This is Teacher Oni Guzman and welcome back to our class. Our lesson for today is Laws of Radicals. In the previous lesson, you have learned that A raised to 1 over N is defined as the principal nth root of B. In radical symbols, that is the nth root of A is equal to A raised to 1 over N. And for A is greater than 0 and the positive integers M and N where N is greater than 1, so we have a raised to m over n. This is the same as the nth root of a raised to m or the nth root of a raised to m. There are four laws of radicals that we will discuss in this tutorial videos. So the first law is actually the nth root of a raised to n. Take note that I have the same index, so therefore I can factor it out, so this is the same as n. The second law is the nth root of a times the nth root of b. Since I have the same index, which is n, I can simply have the nth root of the product of a times b. Number three, so, if we have the nth root of A divided by the nth root of B, since I have the same index, I can rewrite this one as the nth root of A all over B. And the fourth one is, if we have here the nth root of the nth root of A, I'll simply multiply M and N. That will consider as my index, so therefore I have M, N, root of a. Let us now utilize the loss of radicals in order to simplify radical expressions. So let's have cube root of the fourth root of a. Again, I can simply multiply 3 and 4. So this is actually 12. 3 times 4 is 12. Then, okay, under the radical symbols a. So we have 12 root of a. Number two, I have the fourth root of x cubed divided by the fourth root of y cubed. Since I have the same index, I can rewrite this one as the fourth root of x cubed divided by y cubed. Number three, cube root of x times the cube root of y. Since I have the same index, which is three, I can put it outside. So I have here cube root of x times y. Let's have example number 4. I have cube root of 8y cubed. First, I'll express 8 as exponential form which is 2 to the third power or 2 cubed times y cubed. Then, I can expand this one as cube root of 2 cubed times the cube root of y. So, I can factor out the index 3 and exponent 3. So, I have here 2 and the cube root of y cubed is equal to y. So, we have 2 times y is equal to 2y. Let's have number 5. So, we have here square root of the fifth root of b m to the 7th power. Take note that the index here is equal to 2. So, I have here. 2 times 5, then the radicand is bm raised to 7. So 2 times 5 is equal to 10. So we have here 10th root of bm to the 7th power. Let us consider the next example, including quotient. So I have cube root of 80g to the 7th power divided by the cube root of 10g to the 4th power. Since I have the same index, I can rewrite this one as the cube root of 80 g to the 7th power divided by 10 g to the 4th power. Okay, so if we will divide 80 and 10, so I have here 8 g to the 7th power divided by g to the 4th power, applying the law of exponents by simply subtracting the exponents 7 and 4, I have now 3. So therefore, we have 8 or cube root of 8g cubed. 
Now, if I'll extract the cube root of 8, which is equal to 2, and the cube root of g cubed is equal to g. So, therefore, the final answer is equal to 2g. Next, if I have here the pip root of 64x to the pip power, so what will I do is express 64 as exponential form, which is equal to 2 to the 6th power times x to the pip power. Then, I can expand this one as pip root of 2 to the pip power times 2 times x to the pip power. Expanding it, I had the pip root of 2 to the pip power times pip root of 2 times pip root of x to the pip power. Simplifying it further, I have here 2 as the answer for the pip root of 2 to the pip power, while the pip root of x to the pip power is equal to x. Then I simply copy the pip root of 2. So that ends our uh, lesson for today. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications about my new videos. Again, this is Teacher Ony de Guzman. Thank you and have a nice day.